Let me ask you precisely, what do you want out of this life? What is your bottom line? What legacy will you leave behind? When you look at your future self, what will have given you the fulfillment you're looking for? If you're finding it very difficult to answer some of these questions, imagine for once there were no limits and barriers. There was no single barrier between you and your dream and your goals. What would become of you? What would you achieve if there were no barriers and no limits? Why? Because you are born knowing no bounds. Someone began drawing perimeter walls in your mind, especially parents, siblings, elementary school teachers, neighbors. They began telling you what you can or cannot do, and eventually you believed it. And you've imposed those limitations on yourself. Now you have already believed what you can or can't do, and one of the challenges I'm doing tonight is tear down those fences and ask yourself, what would I achieve if for sure there were no limits, there were no barriers? Why? You will never get what you don't expect. Life doesn't give you what you want. Life gives you what you expect. If you expect nothing out of life, you will never be disappointed. If you expect to be broke, you'll never be disappointed. If you expect to lose your job, you'll never be disappointed. If you expect to divorce, you'll never be disappointed. If you expect your business to fail, you'll never be disappointed. There's always a correlation, a direct correlation, between your expectations and your eventual reality. So if you're not getting the results that you so desire, I invite you to reintrospect. I invite you to soul search on your expectations. Because believe me, your current reality is a reflection of your expectations. You may wear a strong face, but if we really want to know what you expect in life, we just need to check the results in your life. So let me suggest, don't lower your expectations to meet your standards. Rather, raise your personal standards to exceed your expectations. Don't lower your expectations to get a job or to get promoted. Don't compromise your moral standards for the sake of a job. Far too many people, the overwhelming majority of people who've climbed up the corporate trunk did so by raising their personal standards. A rope is as strong as its weakest point. If I may paraphrase Martin Luther King Jr., the arc of history bends towards justice. If you and your business partners live long enough, the man of integrity will be vindicated. The woman of integrity will be vindicated.